This is the Negro Ninja, and this is going to be part two of the whole illegal immigrant situation proves why boundaries are needed. I might even change the titles to these. Okay, but basically I was using the whole immigrant, illegal immigrant situation to illustrate why boundaries are needed. Okay, and we can go a little bit deeper. You know, people wanting to come into your life like the gang stalkers and etc. They can't stand it when you have your own space, when you're just comfortable in your own zone. They see that you're anointed. And I think I've talked about this too many times anyway, but anyway. They see what you have and they want it for themselves. They're nothing. They're just like the third world countries that people are avoiding. Just hell and destruction. Okay, chaos, this smelling is just nasty. Okay, there is nothing fruitful there. Desolate land. Okay, they near like the aftermath of Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, and the whole process is repeating itself anyway because the same stuff that they're allowing, well, that they're advocating, they used to advocate. Okay, just like little nappy-headed kids running around and the parents don't want to tell them to stop. Okay, that's what that's like. Okay, except they just ruined the whole country. It's basically how that happened. All right. No discipline, no order. Okay, and the, the so-called discipline that they do try to give them is just overly harsh. Like, uh, just a terrible parent. Just hit the kids upside the head for everything. Don't even got to make sense. Okay, instead of teaching them, they just hit them upside the head. Literally upside the head. That's it, it's, it's not a whooping on the legs, by the way, but literally just shake up the brain. All right, okay. And oftentimes these same type of people will be the main ones telling you, everybody get along, but don't even make an effort to do something that would require, I mean, that would allow for that to happen. For that to happen, they would have to put everybody in check and get them on the same page. Okay, now I think this is the perfect opportunity to read a Bible scripture. And I chose to read Luke. What is this? Hold on. Luke 12, 49. Okay, and I'm reading the English Standard Version. So the paragraph is not peace, but division. Okay, so you know Jesus is finna put the heat on him. Okay. And he starts the paragraph off by saying, I came to put the heat on him. He said, I came to cast fire on the earth. And would that it were already kindled. I have a baptism to be baptized with. And uh, let me refresh this. It's, Blocking words, hold up. All right. He says, I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how great is my distress until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to give peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. And Yahshua is very big on division. Now, once again, people that runs terrible toxic work environments or households y'all need to get in line okay and do not want to make the environment comfortable for everybody they just want you to be comfortable with the stupidity going on because it's always the person that's complaining that they telling this nonsense to them you just ignore it so continuing the scripture okay from no for from now on in one house, there will be five divided, three against two and two against three. They will be divided father against son and son against father, mother against daughter and daughter against mother, mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. Okay, and that's literally what is happening, like exactly like how he said it, literally in people's households. Okay, 
Okay, and this whole scripture is basically Jesus telling you a different um, version of how he was saying about how to separate the wheats from the tares. Okay, right now he's just showing you, I mean, he's talking about it growing together. He didn't talk about flat out separating them yet and throwing them into the fire like he's going to do later. Okay, and apparently the wheat and the tares, you know, kind of look similar until they're done growing. Okay, so what makes this deep is everybody's seeing stuff. You're just seeing it. But the um, the tears is molesting everything right up under the soil. You don't even see it. Just making everything uncomfortable. Okay. All right. I had this pause for quite a bit of time. So I kind of forgot where I left off. But one thing I can tell you about this scripture, aside from the fact that it's, you know, kind of sort of another um, way of him describing the wheat's and the tares. He basically talked about them coming up rather than them being harvested at the moment. Okay. But um harvested and um the having the bad ones being thrown in. But this whole scripture also kind of just shows you how it is for people to have demons, like people that's demon possessed. Okay. This this is why you do not want people that does not line up with you around them. So you being afflicted and harassed by them is more or less the same as, you know, having the demons in you, you find within. Okay. But you just not possess. Okay. But their goal is to make sure there is no peace. Okay. Um, you know, I think that's why I'm using this immigrant is illegal immigrant example. And everybody over here trying to, you know, trying to, you let them in, you you know, you got to look after people. This, that, or just, I'm like, you don't even want niggas in your neighborhood talking all that type of junk. Now, why don't they want niggas in their neighborhood? Just like the demonic possession analogy that I just said. Okay, because when they let niggas in, things become more dirty, more trashy, more violent. Everything just angry. The energy is just all um, just aggressive. <sighs> Everybody want to be tough. Okay. Okay, so they are hypocrites for even, you know, talking against those that think that the country should just, you know, keep American people in it and legal people in it. Okay, you don't just let people come over here and do what the heck they want to do. Okay, do you think they're just going to stop doing what they want to do because they over here? We have a better life. No, niggas want their life to be the way it was over there, just like cowards coming from the hood. Um, and then coming up to nice areas trying to act hard. Okay, nigga, why would you come from there and try to bring it there with you? Because they want to be the ones that can do that type of stuff without being, you know, harassed by crazier people than them. Okay, because these, because the people come from that type of life, that's usually how they see um, valuing things, valuing negative things. Okay, so they're naturally predatory. So they come over here and they see, hmm, they're not like that. I can take this even further. I can take it's all mine. Okay, I came from the destruction. I came from the violence. Now I can use those same tactics to invoke fear onto people and having them give me everything I want. Okay, once again, you got to realize that God takes his hand off of places for a reason. Okay, it's more like people ask God to take his hand off of these places or they just, you know, beg him to. Okay, they curse him out and make him do it, basically. They're like, oh, y'all ain't going to be hearing all that type of nothing, that this type of disrespect, uh -uh. I ain't got time for it. He just turned his head away from it, and that's why it's like nothing. All right, and this also, that scripture can also tell you why you should not be helping your enemies. Okay, using the example that I just said, hey, you look like you need a hand. Indeed, I do. Now I need your whole arm. Okay, now I need your elbow. I'm going to get the shoulder too. This is pretty tender too. I'm going to take that. Let me do this. Oh, this is getting really inappropriate. Oh, pretty, what the heck is you doing? Okay, they just molest you. Okay, you do not help people that have different values. You help people with the same values. Okay. You never help nobody that is against you. 
Okay, it's just like that quote that goes, I forgot who said this. Was it Socrates? I can't remember, but put it in the comments. The, the saying goes, never correct your enemies when they make a mistake. All right, so I guess one of my main points of even making this video and saying this scripture is show no mercy. You know, when it comes time for something to happen, just know that it's just like a video game. Okay, the other team has no feelings for you. They got no remorse for you. Okay, they're not going to lose sleep of whatever happens to you from their actions. Okay, they barely even care about winning as long as they can get, you know, over on you. As long as they can overtake you. As long as they can harm you is what they really care about. Okay, so all this naive superhero cartoon BS about, you know, some people are just lost to need guidance you know maybe they will become a better person mm, it's too late in the game to have that type of mindset okay because if they was gonna somehow change they would have done it by now okay once again when you try to save them they're gonna pull you down there with them okay so you can even say that you're witnessing a lot of people okay past you that is gonna take the mark of the beast Okay, they just wait, they just waiting for the right time to show you that they are that beast. Okay, like a person turning into a werewolf during the full moon. Oh, it's a, it's a nigga. Hey, nigga, how you doing? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Okay, and you're not going to be able to converse with them. Okay, there's not going to be any reason to be had with them. Okay, they're not trying to see reason. They they see dinner. All right. So, you know, going forward, don't try to change nobody. Okay, the only people that you are responsible for, for the most part, is your kids or whoever you have guardianship over. Okay, if you feel that there is work that needs to be done for somebody, then that's already signs to not even deal with that person in the first place and that's all i got to say for this run and this has been the negro ninja bringing you your negro message for today negro out